feel like it was very important for us to do that because all our lives we've been told go back to Africa and it wasn't told to us in a positive way it was like if you don't like what you're going through here go back to Africa basically a slap in the face because of the people we, we are descended from mm. um and so it created a negative image in, in our heads, especially with the propaganda commercials. So it was very important for us to learn about Africa, learn about the different cultures, learn about the different countries and the different people to show Africa is not bad. What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shots React, and we're back, back with another, another video. Who we got today, see? Today, we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go. Come back to the channel. My name is Ambassador Vix. And I am back with another awesome video. I mean, you might, be, you might be surprised that I'm interviewing the black for the first time on the channel. Yes, I'm interviewing the white people. But I just decided to twist the sort of content to suit our very own people. All right? Mm. I have this man here. He's called Go Black to Africa. He's also a YouTuber. I mean, one of the biggest YouTubers in America and Africa and all that. Mm -hmm. How I got to know about him was when he reacted to my video when he was in the U.S. What's up, family? This is your man. Not your boy. Go black to Africa. You know, I want to share this video from my man, Vice Man TV. Go check his videos out on YouTube. He's on the ground in Ghana interviewing people. And I've used his video and, and want to spread his message that he is doing when he is interviewing some of the Europeans. What's interesting in this interview is the young lady sat there and she made a very profound point that many of us who are of African descent, those who are in Africa, some of those who are outside of Africa that realize Africa is not poor. I've said that a thousand times. Africa is not poor. And I didn't know that he was coming to Africa or Ghana. And today I found him in Accra. I spent this. I said ahead. Hey, well, let us have the conversation today. Good luck to you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. But you didn't tell me that you, you are you're going to visit the continent anytime soon. I live here, man. Okay. Yeah, you didn't know that. I didn't know. What do you mean? Yes, I live in Ghana. <laughs> okay. Right here in Accra. Okay. Yeah, I got a place here. Okay. But why did you react to the content? Why did you react? Well, I found I found it uh, quite interesting that you are probably the only YouTuber okay. who interviewed white tourists who've come in and wanted to get their perspective of how they're enjoying Africa. And I thought that was really almost, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a great thing that I saw that you were doing, getting the other side perspective. Okay. So, um, and I wanted to react to your video because I thought it was good for people to hear that even Europeans are enjoying Africa. And if they're enjoying Africa, why aren't more of our people in the diaspora, the diaspora coming to enjoy Africa? Okay. Um, when did you leave Ghana? Let's speak on that. Hmm. Because I remember back in, right before the new year, and I feel like we had just one month where we dedicated the entire channel to just African content. And people didn't understand why we were doing that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it was very important for us to do that because all our lives we've been told, go back to Africa. And it wasn't told to us in a positive way. It was like, if you don't like what you're going through here, go back to Africa. Basically a slap in the face because of the people we, we are descended from. Mm. Um and so it created a negative image in, in our heads, especially with the propaganda commercials. So it was very important for us to learn about Africa, learn about the different cultures, learn about the different countries and the different people to show Africa is not bad. Like we were taught, right? Right, right. Yeah. So I love that he said that. Big facts. The U.S. 
Uh, I said Haiti. Were you born here? No, 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 no. You were born in the My US. first time coming to Ghana was six years ago. Six years ago. And I've been coming back ever since. Okay. Yeah. When you were in the US, you were visiting Africa for the first time. Yeah. What were some of the things that the Western media was telling you as an African about your own country? Oh, my goodness. You know, America. Uh, before he even get into it, like we said before, it would show a lot of poor side, a lot of hungry kids. Mm -hmm. It would never paint the picture that Africa had it made like that. Mm -hmm. It never showed how much money was really invested into different locations in Africa, we, especially as a kid. Like, and I think when as I grew, I kind of like stir away from certain channels and started watching other things mm -hmm. that didn't necessarily highlight Africa at all. Right, um, right. Even in the cartoons from the family shows. Uh, uh, to the anything basically, but when I was a real young kid, I remember that they would highlight it as if send money because it's needed to help get these kids um, food and shelter and things mm -hmm. and clothing, like just the whole nine yards, like just show them as so poor, as if they don't have any level of resources, mm -hmm. you know, and that's kind of the image they left us with as yes. a child. Yes. But now it's like no way possible. Nah, negative Sarge. Mm -hmm. Don't believe that. Nah, lick at all. Yeah, and that's why we always tell y'all, we don't come over here with all those diaspora wars and all that. We don't participate in that. No. Nah. Okay? We know that it was a divide and conquer tactic that was used. And I feel like that is why it's so important for us to highlight Africa in the way that we do. And I say the same thing too. Yeah, Anytime, I don't. Why do you think so? Africa's the now. Mm -hmm. You see... When people think Africa is the future, they think someday it's going to happen mm. in the future. 500 years. Then. It's happening now. Okay. It Africa's is. the now. It Africa's is. the now. Bro, and you know how many leaders have been in position in Africa that actually led Africa to where it's at now? I'm talking about like in a positive light. Mm -hmm. Of course, there have been hiccups. Not everyone's perfect. They got mm -hmm. some people who want to do their own agenda. But we have heard and seen and listened and watched and read so many different leaders that have put Africa in highlighted positions to say, yeah, we about to build, we about to develop, we about to yeah. help, we about to spread, we about to push, we about to unify. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they've been doing it. They are the now. Yeah, they 100%. are. 100%. When people realize in these 54 countries that exist that they're all making strides they are. to get the Europeans' control off of their backs, and many of the leaders now are starting to realize that Africa can be self-sufficient, it can be self-reliant, independent of these countries who have controlled them by aid. And so now we're starting to see the full development of a lot of these countries who are doing business outside of the Europeans, okay. but are embracing other countries to do trades and business with. Okay. You know, I don't want the interview to be all that long, but I would like you to take the opportunity to tell the diasporans out there to visit Africa. Take that opportunity to educate them about Africa and telling them to come back to yeah. Africa. Well, if anybody knows, scientifically, this ain't coming from me, but it's scientifically proven that the origin of man started here in the motherland. And when we talk about that, it means all races of people. I have to say all races of, uh, all races of faces from all different places have started and come out of Africa, the root of humanity. And it would be an injustice for yourself to know that you have rooted in from Africa, but never came to come visit. That is it. That you will miss a part of just this small chapter of your life, because life goes by really fast, to not come and connect, to be amongst country, amongst these countries with your people who you can see are doing great and beautiful things beyond in what you are used to in the countries that you actually reside in. That is it. And so my thing is that if you want to have a different perspective, if you want to have a different total mindset in how really Africa is and the African is, you must come back to the motherland. Thank you, Blue Black 2. Africa. Tell people that Africa is the future. And Blue Black 2 is saying Africa is the now. Africa is not the future. Yeah. What do you think about this video? I want to stop right there, man. What there was some heavy content. I feel like it has been repeated. I feel like we have said a few of these things before. You guys are hitting it again. So I think that's clarity for a lot of people. Yeah.
Yes, sir. Yeah, good yes, video. Sir. We good made video. comments throughout. Yeah. So go check out his channel, like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have in there with our super, super thanks. thanks. If you like support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box, box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.